Hello, this is Dr. Liu at Li Tai. Bay leaf is one of the most popular culinary herb. It has been commonly used to cook with meat to bring it a strong aroma and also help digestion. Besides being used in kitchen, bay leaf is, has been found having uh, many benefits including anti-diarrhea, anti-inflammation, and anti-diabetics. Bay leaves contains the vitamins A and E, and carotenoids. These antioxidants help lower the blood cholesterol level and uric acid. Uric acid is believed to be the trigger of arthritis problem. And a clinical study, they use a bay leaf tea to help reduce the pain for the arthritis patients. A bay leaf also contains a sesquiterpene that can help inhibit the nitrogen oxide production and this brings anti-inflammation benefits. So how do we use the bay leaf at home? In today's video I will show you the best easy four ways you can do it at home to extract the bay leaf to help reduce pain, improve digestion, bring the antioxidants, reduce inflammation and keep the skin and the hair healthy. The first way to extract the bay leaf is a decoction. Decoction is like a tea, so mix the herb with water and boil it at the low heat and simmering for a while and to have a fully extracted by the water extraction. The high temperature give a benefit to improve the solubility of those water soluble compounds go into the water to make a, a condense. The decoction will take uh, 10 minutes of boiling. So when it's boiling, I will show you the next method is uh, infused oil. We're gonna need to use uh, extra virgin uh, cold pressed olive oil. It has the most uh, nutrients come from the olive and also it can help extract those oil soluble chemicals from the bay leaf. I'm using a new jar. This is one pint, about a 500 milliliter size. Um, before doing the infuse, I normally use uh, the rubbing alcohol, uh, 70% to clean it. Just uh, soak uh, the paper towel or the cloth, just wipe it. Double check and I'll make sure it's clean. If you reuse some bottle, so you want to wash it with the soap first before you uh, sanitize it. And clean the lid as well. Because I wash my hands um, before I handle this. Now prepare the leaf for the infused oil. Uh, the same, uh, crush it into a small pieces. Because I'm using the dry leaf, it's easy to crush. Uh, if you're using the fresh leaf, you probably gotta need a chopper to cut it into a small pieces. For making an infused oil, it's better to use a dry leaf because it has less water and it makes the oil ever can keep a longer shelf life. Oil infusion is a slow process. It normally takes six to eight weeks, 
but you can put it into a low heat in like a, a crock pot and it can significantly reduce the infusion time. It can take just one week, make it ready. And this infused uh, bay leaf oil can be used as a massage oil if you have uh, arthritis uh, pain at the joint, use this oil to massage and also because the bay leaf has a good antibacteria, it can use as a hair massage oil before you shampooing. This can help uh, keep the scalp uh, clean and reduce the dandruff. Now I'm going to show you the third one that is a tincture making. It has the same process as uh, the infused oil to prepare the leaves and crush into the small pieces before mix with alcohol. And today I'm using the vodka that is 40% uh, or 80 proof. This is also called a, a hydro alcohol extraction. That means it does the extraction with water and also the alcohol. Studies show the ethanol extraction and water extraction, they have a good uh, antioxidants be extracted out and these can help uh, to keep the body um, away from the oxidizing uh, stress. The tea has a little bit of yellow and a greenish color. I gotta test it. Actually, I really like it. It's a little bit spicy and sweet, but it has a good the bay leaf aroma. It tastes very good. So twice a day, uh, one cup each time, so you consume uh, 500 milliliter or two cups of the decoction. And uh, this can help uh, relieve the pain, the joint pain, and uh, improve the digestion. So today I show you the three ways, the decoction, infused oil, and a tincture. And the next video, I will make a, a steam distillation of a bay leaf to make a, the hydrosol and essential oil. Those have a strong antimicrobial, antibacteria to help relieve inflammation. It's perfect to use on the skin to Thank you for watching, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.